dear students welcome back to the lecture series on statistics and thermodynamics in the previous videos we had discussed about partition function and its significance factorization of partition function into translational rotational and vibrational partition functions etc partition function is an important property in statistical thermodynamics an important significance of partition function is that it helps to calculate all the macroscopic properties in thermodynamics that is thermodynamic properties such as internal energy entropy enthalpy heat capacity etc of the system in other words all these macroscopic properties can be expressed in terms of partition function and so in this video we will see how partition function is related to various thermodynamic properties first we will discuss about how to express internal energy in terms of partition function we will derive an equation for internal energy which is expressed in terms of partition function we will see about internal energy that is how to express internal energy in terms of partition function we know that the internal energy is usually represented as u and u equals summation ni epsilon i where epsilon i is the energy let that be equation 1 and from maxwell's equation we have seen that ni equals capital n gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt by q let that be equation 2 where gi is the degeneracy of the energy levels q is the partition function therefore u equals so in equation 1 instead of ni we can write this equation 2 therefore we get u equals summation capital n gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt into epsilon i by q since n and q are constants we can write that this is equal to n by q summation gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt into epsilon i let that be equation 3 okay so we have seen that while discussing about partition function q is equal to summation gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt now if we differentiate this partition function q with respect to temperature at constant volume we can write do q by do t at constant v is equal to summation gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt Into differential of this, that is minus epsilon i by k into minus one by t square. So we get, if you take k into t square to the left side, we get k t square into do q by do t at constant v is equal to summation g i e raised to minus epsilon i by k t into epsilon i. Let that be equation four. So uh, we wrote the expression for partition function q equals summation g i e raised to minus epsilon i by kt and then we differentiated q with respect to t at constant v and we got equation 4 as kt square do q by do t at constant v equals summation gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt into epsilon i now if we substitute this equation 4 in equation 3 what is equation 3 u equals n by q summation gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt into epsilon i so instead of this term that is summation gi e raised to minus epsilon i by kt into epsilon i what we can write we can write kt square into do q by do t at constant v so if we substitute in equation 3 we get u equals n kt square by q do q by do t at constant v or we can also represent as u equals n kt square instead of 1 by q do q by do t we can write do log q by do t at constant v this 
the internal energy of a system can be represented in terms of partition function as u equals nkt square dou log q by dou t at constant 